हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बायजूस एग्जाम प्रेप होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल गाइस टुडे वी विल बी कवरिंग अगेंस्ट करंट अफेयर्स एज वेल एज स्टैटिक जीके इन दिस सीरीज दैट वी आर रनिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इन द रन अप टू योर एग्जाम प्रेप राइट सो गाइस माय नेम इज अभिमन्यु राजपुरोहित एज ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर बाय नाउ आई एम अ ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रेस्टीजियस लॉ स्कूल्स इन द कंट्री दैट इज एनएलयू पटियाला आई एम हियर यू नो विद अ विद एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ मोर देन 10 इयर्स i am sure that whatever i will be sharing with all of you you would be uh, you know fairly benefiting from the same as well right so let's go let's start uh, quickly bahut bahut swagat hai aap sabhi ka welcome everyone uh, good evening hope all of you are doing well all right so let's go guys let's start uh, uh, before uh, we begin with the first question i have a, a very important announcement to make for all of you uh, guys if you are someone who is yet to appear for the all india mock test guys make sure you don't wait any longer uh, don't wait for the last day make sure that uh, you know you give the mock at preferably uh, you know give it during the day right don't give it in odd hours uh, make sure you are not mentally fatigue when you are attempting the mock as well right you'll get truck loads of benefiting benefit if you are you know appearing for the mock test right you'll get uh, you know the best strategy that suits you uh, you'll identify the same right you'll get to know about your weaknesses uh, you know you'll have access to the mock attempt which is done by the experts this is something which you will get also you'll get question wise video analysis what else can you ask for guys apart from this 70 plus mocks covering all mb entrance you can get an access to the same guys ace cat and other mb exams with the test prep series that we have launched for all of you guys don't miss this at any cost guys a great opportunity so many questions you'll get an access to uh, the best way to prepare for any entrance exam is through uh you know attempting as many questions as possible in a manner which are as close to the exam that we are appearing in and we know the exam that we are appearing in right is uh you know the mb entrance exam be it cat or zat or any exam that you are preparing for you have uh you know the access to all the mock tests so don't miss out on the same all right let's start with the questions that i have for you today here we go in which of these sites gautam buddha was born now the options are in front of you option a is kashi option b is bodhgaya option c is kushinagar or option d is lumbini the answer guys what is the answer to this one the answer is gautam buddha was born in lumbini right lumbini is the correct answer now uh, you know the confusion is bound to happen because this is something which we have studied probably you know in our schools right uh, you know that too in our 6th or 7th standard probably right so i can totally understand but don't worry right once you read it uh, you know once you uh, you know attempt such such a question just do one thing make sure you have a pen and paper ready write them all down right so write down that lumbini gautam buddha was born in lumbini right and uh, where did he attain enlightenment right where did he pass away कहां पे उनकी डेथ हुई ये सब चीजें हमारे लिए जानना जरूरी है ठीक है तो ये मैं आपको बता सकता हूं पर मैं बताना नहीं चाह रहा हाँ मैं क्यों बताऊं आपको कि सारनाथ में क्या हुआ या मैं क्यों बताऊं बोधगया में क्या हुआ ठीक है यू फाइंड आउट ऑन योर ओन राइट सो वेर डिड वॉट हैपन बेसिक योर बेसिक रिसर्च इज रिक्वायर्ड आई एम श्योर इट इज हार्डली टेक यू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड टू फाइंड दिस आउट बट द ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ एफर्ट दैट यू विल पुट इन इट विल हेल्प यू रिटेन दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो मेक श्योर यू डू रिसर्च द सेम दिस इज योर होमवर्क फॉर द डे All right, moving on. Which is the oldest religious text in the world? Right, uh, which is the oldest religious text among the following? What is the answer? Now, guys, uh, the answer to this is Rig Veda. Rig Veda is actually the oldest religious text in the world. Now, when we talk about Rig Veda, uh, you know, it is uh, it contains. uh you know lots of things it contains 1028 hymns etc all these things are there uh, it has gayatri mantra in it right om bhur bhuvah swat satsavitur varenya bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yona prachodayat now this is mentioned there if we talk about other vedas right say for example samveda 
what is the difference between uh, Rigveda and Samveda? Samveda is the melodious tunes. So you can say a book of chants, music, musical chants, you can say. All right? Music, right? So what is the, uh, you can say, dhun to all these, uh, you know, uh, you can say every, uh, you know, hymn or prayer that you do. Right? Say, for example, Hanuman Chalisa also has a, a tune to it right so that tune that music right that is all mentioned here at uh, you know in samveda ayurveda i'm sure you are already aware right ayurveda uh, right what does it do uh, yajurveda is the book of sacrificial prayers book of sacrificial prayers i'm sure everyone has seen bahubali right so in bahubali i'm sure you saw the scene uh, where uh, you know, first Balal Dev, uh, you know, uh, to go before the war, you know, the part one, right? Before he went to the war, he, uh, you know, uh, killed a bull, right? He sacrificed a bull rather. And, uh, you know, that was considered as auspicious, right? Uh, Bahubali said, no, right? Uh, you know, here is my blood, etc., huh? etc. And he gave his own set of logic and uh, you know, it, it did his own, own thing. So this is what actually was mentioned in Yajurveda, right? Book of Sacrificial Prayer. So if you want to do anything uh, which is, uh, let's say, uh, anything which is auspicious, right? So for that, it was important uh, that uh, you give bali or sacrifice someone who was dear to you, right? So uh, this was a norm which was prevalent. So do keep this in mind. All right, moving on to the next one. Let's move on. Third question, who is the first Tirthankar in Jainism? Now, when we talk about religions, when we talk about Jainism, right, Jainism, there are 24 Tirthankars in total, right? The 24 Tirthankars means you can say Guru, right? So, 24 Tirthankars in total, right? Mahavir Swami, I'm sure, uh, you know, you would be confused, you would be saying Mahavir Swami as the answer, uh, right, as is the case. Uh, the answer is Adinath, right? Adinath or also known as Rishabdev, also known as Rishabnath, right? Now he uh, was the first Tirthankar. 24th Tirthankar was Mahavir Swami. 24th Tirthankar. Tirthankars are the Gurus. So, Jainism and Buddhism both were a result of Yajurveda that we discussed, right? Book of Sacrificial Prayers. So, here when we talk about Jainism and Buddhism, they did not believe in any form of violence, right? Both Buddhism and Jainism. The founder of uh, Buddhism is Gautam Buddha, as you are aware. The language of discourse of Gautam Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, was what? What was the language that he used for communication? or his discourses the answer it was not hindi not sanskrit it was actually pali right pali is the correct answer c is the right answer for the uh, for this question right now when we talk about the language right it was important to translate the same it has now been translated into multiple languages but this was the original uh, you know language that was used for discourse now you heard a lot about uh, Upanishads. You heard about Vedas. We've discussed Vedas. Now, what are Upanishads? Here we go. Are they a source of Hindu philosophy, books of ancient Hindu laws, prayers to God, or musical chant? What is the answer? Upanishads actually are a source of Hindu philosophy. So, do remember this. Very simple. Now, which state government has formed 13 new districts? Which state government has formed 13 uh, new uh, districts. What is the answer? The answer, this is a bonus question guys for all of you. The answer is Andhra Pradesh. A total number of districts in Andhra Pradesh right now is 26. Right? This is a bonus question for you. In between, I don't want uh, you to study too much, uh, you know, static GK. So this being a bonus question. Right? Chalye. So state government has formed 13 new districts in total now. 26 districts there are. Earlier there were 13. Now there are in total 26 districts. Now let's move on to the next one. The first woman to become a chief minister of any state in India was who? 
now i am sure uh, you know the answer to this right to help you <laughs> right what i have done is you know 50 50 50 करने की जरूरत नहीं है आपको राइट right? आप देख सकते हो दो जगह आपको ये ऑप्शन दिए हैं वेरी सिंपल द आंसर इज सुचेता कृपलानी राइट नाउ व्हेन आई हैव शेयर्ड दिस विद यू राइट डी एंड बी यू विल नेवर फॉरगेट दिस राइट बिकॉज़ दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच रेयरली हैपेंस राइट दिस इज व्हाट वी यू नो यूज इन जनरल अवेयरनेस दिस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एडिंग योर सबकॉन्शियस मेमोरी राइट योर सबकॉन्शियस मेमोरी is getting trained yeah. right it is human nature that whenever we find something odd right say for example this was odd right two options same options are why two same options that this was something which was odd right whenever you find certain things which are odd it remains in our mind for a long period of time if i say i saw a pink colored elephant yesterday i am sure all of you are right now thinking about a pink colored elephant you pictureized the same as well <laughs> right so because this is odd this is something which never which we don't see usually so this is how we trick our mind in remembering uh, you know some answers so i hope uh, you use it in the future as well all right who is regarded as the father of modern india modern india father the answer raja ram mohan roy raja ram mohan roy is regarded as the father of modern india right do remember this this was quite easy we could have eliminated the options that were given in front of us all right the next question is this uh, the most important feature of the government of india act in the year 1919 was what in the year 1919 uh, what was uh, the answer now montague chancellor reforms we are talking about enlargement of indian councils provision for direct election diarchy in the provinces actually all the three all the three guys i let me share a tip with all of you 90% of the time when you will find 80 to 90% let me say right 80 to 90% of the time that you will find uh, you know questions where d is given as the option or e is given as the option all of the above or uh, whatever the option says usually it is that only right 9 80 to 90% of the time that uh, that option will be the answer especially when we talk about general awareness this is something which you should try uh, you know in your upcoming mocks that you'll give here at byju's exam prep right uh, make sure uh, you know uh, you take a note of this as well those of you who just joined us let me remind you guys we are conducting an uh, conducting an all india open mock for all of you you get an opportunity to appear for the mock and see where you stand among your peers right so the uh, your timeline is from 30th september to 9th october but don't uh, you know think that i'll give it on the 9th or the 8th right don't wait too much right give it right now uh, whenever uh, you feel that you are mentally uh, you know ready right don't give it a, with a tired mind uh, with a tired body right when you're active when you're fresh give it then right so that you get an opportunity to see where you stand right what is the difference between you and others chali who is known as the father of the indian constitution before i move on to the current affair questions uh, you know a few questions in between so uh, this is a study question which i hope everyone will give me correct answer to this was easy as is the case everyone giving correct answers as well the answer is dr b r ambedkar dr b r ambedkar is known as the father of indian constitution also known as the architect of indian constitution the architect of indian constitution is also dr b r ambedkar all right let's move on to the next one now here we go this is a question which is uh, uh, you know current affairs uh, let's see if you are aware joint naval exercise uh, chiru 2020 uh, you can see here 2022 was conducted by which countries uh, now very simple guys whenever you find these questions even if you are not uh, you know able to derive the answer or are not aware of the answer hint is given in the question itself usually you'll find that these military exercises Uh, will have abbreviations right so ch stands for china r stands for russia i is there in between which stands for iran so the correct answer is a right just use your uh, you know uh, what you can say is your common sense uh, just use that and you will majority of the questions you will find your find an answer to all right in february uh, 2022 who got selected as the torch bearer of winter olympic 2022 by the chinese government because of which india protested 
and announced a diplomatic boycott a diplomatic boycott of the winter olympics no official was there in the opening or the closing ceremony of the winter olympics the answer is key for bow now why, why is a d the uh, your d is the correct answer why is the d in news why was his being a torch bearer uh, such a concern because in the galwan valley clash where uh, you know more than 20 soldiers died from india uh, right so this person was actually uh, involved uh, you know uh, during the clash he was a uh, you can say a commander who was among them who was responsible for the clash so that's why we was being celebrated india obviously contended that this is absolutely wrong immoral and china doing this is actually uh, you know showing us that uh, what do they think about us right so all these things were there so india announced a total diplomatic boycott another thing i would like to add is that only one indian athlete participated one indian skier right skier skiing is the sport as you are all are aware skier one indian skier participated the name is arif khan only arif khan participated in the winter olympics uh, sadly was not able to win a medal for us who has been bestowed with the highest civilian award of assam known as assam Bebhav. Assam has its own set of record, uh, awards uh, for which it gives to citizens. So the answer, the person who is responsible for building the entire nation, uh, you know, at least uh, the family he comes from is, uh, you know, the empire the family has created is absolutely, uh, you know, useful for uh, India. Today, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, right, even, uh, you know, the land in which, uh, uh, you know, all the major uh, Let's say, uh, I am sure if you are from Mumbai, you are aware of Bhabha Atomic Research Center, BARC. The land was actually given by, uh, you know, uh, Jamshedji Tata. So, the answer to this is Ratan Tata, right? So, uh, philanthropist, you can say, highest civilian award of Assam, rightly given uh, to Ratan Tata, Assam Bebhav is the name. Who has won the women's singles title at the Sayyid Modi International Tournament? Now, in these questions, even if you are not aware, use simple common sense. Which name among these are you uh, expecting to win, right? One among them is recently in great form, uh, you know, getting medals after medals in every Olympic. The answer, of course, is PV Sindhu. PV Sindhu is the correct answer. So, very simple. All right, let's move on to the next one. Who has become India's first UP, you can see here, UN Development Program, UNDP Youth Climate Champion. Now, these are the kind of questions that the examiner uh, really, really wants to ask students. Why? Because the word first is mentioned and India's first becomes more important here. Yeah? So, UNDP Youth Climate Champion, the answer is Prajakta Kohli. Prajakta Kohli, right? Even now, you can see here, YouTubers, etc. are also getting their due credit. All right. Which city will host the 2024 Summer Olympic, uh, you know, program or also the Summer Paralympics? So the same, uh, Summer Olympic and Paralympic, same place they are being conducted. The answer is uh, B, Paris. Paris, France is the correct answer. The city will host 2024 Summer of Paralympics. Uh, do remember also the Olympics. Okay, this is the third time they are conduct conducting Summer Olympics over there. 1900, 1924, 2024. Chali, but they are What is the estimate of global unemployment level in 2022 as per ILO, uh, WESO Trends Report 2022? The total global unemployment levels. The answer is D, 207 million. So 20.7 crore people uh, are unemployed as per official figures of International Labour Organization. When we talk about ILO, uh, guys, important is the head and the headquarter. Both are very important. Head, who is the head? Who, where is the headquarter? This is very important for us. So, Geneva is the headquarter. Head, I want you guys to find it out, right? It's very... Uh, Humbo, right? Humbo is the correct answer. Just uh, do a basic research, guys. 
all i want is uh, you know when i give you any homework just do a basic search hardly will take you 20 or seconds but this uh, effort that will put in will help you re uh, you know retain the set of information for a longer period of time so do remember this which international organization has launched world employment and social outlook trends 2022 report now the answer guys is very simple we were talking about employment in the last question right from there you can take a cue the answer is uh, again international labor organization here as well guys one thing also i'd like to share ilo recently proposed a four day work week for all right four day work week they proposed uh, i would like to share that uh, uh, uae right four day work week all right uh, who was the first country so uae was first to start 4.5 day week uh, 4.5 days working a week culture also uh, the four day week culture uk uh, was the first jisne four day a week ka culture start kiya just imagine guys nothing can be better ha huh? three days chutti yaar sochi yaar ghar jo mumbai mein rehte honge to maze hain ha teen din ki chutti hai jao goa ghum ke aa jao delhi rehte hain to shimla chale gaye right so uh, lots of benefit of course right chaliye let's move on to the next one which indian tennis player has announced a retirement in the year 2022 now don't get confused guys yahan pe har retirement likha hua hai to very simple i am sure you would be eliminating mahesh bhupati and rohan bopanna right so very uh, you know simple some questions are uh, you know usually you will find his or her written here right but in case there isn't take full toll of this right full advantage of the same we all know the answer is sanya mirza guys don't be confused don't think ki ye to inki shaadi to shoaib malik se hui hai to ye to uh, uh, indian nahi hai to pakistan ke honge nahi ji ye indian hai sanya mirza ji yaad rakhna hai aapko with respect to tennis she represents india right jab tak retirement liye tab tak to india ko hi represent kiya unhone which country has built an artificial moon research facility that will enable them to simulate low gravity environment using magnetism let me share that this is the same country that also built artificial sun for experimental purposes they also built an artificial sun this was built by the country that you guys have already guessed i'm sure the answer is china china is the correct answer very simple the answer is china guys those of you watching this video and haven't uh, hit the subscribe button you haven't subscribed to our channel yet quickly hit the subscribe button and also don't forget uh, to press the like button yaar itna sara gyan de raha hu main aapko yaar come on jaldi se like to karna banta hai quickly make sure you like the video as well moving on who among the following uh, was the constitutional advisor of, while we were forming our constitution right who was appointed as the constitutional advisor ki bhai kisi ko madad chahiye drafting committee ko to inke paas jaake aap advice le sakte ho he was well versed with all the constitutions of the world the answer uh, is b n rao so do remember this b n rao was the constitutional advisor of the indian constitution right so you can see we are playing here some questions current some questions static now there are you know, a few static questions let's see if you know this which of the following is described as the soul of the constitution which of the following is known as the soul of the constitution the answer it is definitely not fundamental rights it's not uh, fundamental duties not dpsp it is something that was given to us by jawaharlal nehru the answer is preamble right objective resolution this was borrowed from objective resolution in usa was given to us by Jawaharlal Nehru. Do remember. Let's go next. The term "we" in the preamble. We all know uh, that uh, preambles, wordings. I'm sure in your schools also it was recited. Uh, but I'm, uh, you know, also I am aware that uh, you know, it's been a long time. But still, the term "we" in the preamble means what? Indian government, Indian Parliament, people of India, or none of the above. Of course, right? Why would we say, use "we" for Indian government or "we" for Indian Parliament? of course it's for the people of india right it is uh, through people of india that we derive the source or the power from uh, you know of the constitution it is the people that gives the power 
All right, as per the preamble of India, date of adoption of the constitution is the dash. What is the answer? Is it 24th January 1947? Is it 26th November 1949? Is it 26th January 1915? Or is it 31st August 1947? The answer is 26th November 1949. Don't be confused here guys. It's not C. It is B. It was adopted on 26th November 1949. It came into force. on 26th January 1950. Now, uh, I'm sure uh, you know you have studied this in your uh, school and probably in your civics history classes. Uh, but then again, guys, I will not be, uh, you know, teaching you much in detail here with respect to this, but we'll just share this with you that uh, this date was actually, uh, you know, thought in the year 1930 that 26th January 1931 will be considered as the date of Indian independence. To mark that decision of the, you can say, people who were involved in uh, in that discussion, to mark this auspicious date, they waited for two months, right, to make sure that the constitution comes into force from the 26th of January. Partially, it was, it came into force, some provisions came into force uh, after 26th November 1949, but the entire constitution came into force from the 26th of January 1950, the day we all celebrate as Republic Day. India became a republic, uh, right? This was because the Indian constitution was adopted and came into force. Shall we? All right, here we go now. This is a question. The correct sequence of the following words in the preamble is what? So now only people who have studied it at least, uh, you know, once in their life, <laughs> right, will be able to answer this one. The answer... Uh, don't be too hard on yourself if you know don't remember the answer is sovereign socialist secular a democratic republic so do remember triple s dr triple s dr so do remember this uh, this is how you can remember the word uh, sovereign was already there uh, socialist secular added later so you can remember it like this next right, the right to move freely throughout the territory of india uh, under it comes under which article of the Indian Constitution you can move around freely freedoms are mentioned in which article we have actually discussed this in previous classes as well the answer C article 19 article 19 is the correct answer this is freedom right freedom to speech freedom to move freedom to do trade all sorts of freedoms are granted in article 19 let's move to the next one who is the constitutional head of the state government if we talk about state government, uh, you know, the power of the, uh, you know, president, which is there with respect to, uh, you know, Union of India, the same power is enjoyed by the governor of the state. So the answer, guys, here is C, governor. Same case in union government will be president, of course, right? Chale, let's move on to the next one. Very easy this is. Which of the Indian constitutions given article has the right to privacy? Now, this has been in news recently because the privacy bill which was introduced in the year 2019 has been taken back by the government. Okay? So, this makes this question important. Right? So, what is the answer? The answer is this is mentioned right to privacy is actually mentioned in article 21 supreme court recently gave so many judgments uh, you know with respect to a right to being forgotten and all these things right so so many interesting judgments are there we'll probably talk about these judgments someday as well so do remember the correct answer article 21 right also includes right to life uh, you know right to education uh, you know that is article 21a in which part of the Indian constitution do we find a citizenship mentioned? There are 22 parts in our constitution as you are aware. Uh, which part? Is it part 1, part 2, part 4a, part 6? The answer is part 2. Guys, part 2, article 5 to article 11. Right? Articles. These are the articles uh, which deal with citizenship right these are the articles which deal with citizenship it was important especially after the 
disintegration of India into uh, you know two parts that is India and Pakistan, right? Pakistan further was there, you know, East Pakistan, West Pakistan was there, but still India and Pakistan were divided. So it was important that it should be uh, there should have been a proper uh, documentation with respect to and rules and regulations with respect to how can one uh, attain citizenship, how can one be uh, an overseas citizen of India or an NRI, all these details are mentioned here in articles 5 to 11. All right, uh, the last question that I have for you guys today, who among the following uh, has given the right to summon the parliament? Who uh, has the right to summon the parliament? Uh, probably the apex person, <laughs> right? Uh, that is uh, the president, right? As per the Indian constitution, the apex person holding the post of president, right? Uh, that is right now with Draupadi Murmu, right? Uh, president has the power to write to summon the parliament. Now, guys, uh, before we wind the session up, I have, uh, you know, a few more questions, uh, you know, that you need to answer. But before we move on to them, I want to share that, guys, we here at Baidu's Exam Prep have launched a test series for all of you. Don't uh, lose this opportunity, right? Uh, make sure you take full toll of the same. Right? You have an opportunity to appear for so many mocks, right? Uh, make sure that uh, you do, uh, you know, enroll for the mock test series. Also, in case you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Which uh, ha country has become the first in the world to administer DNA vaccine against COVID? Some current affairs also. Last question, which was static. Now, there are a few questions which are current and then... Uh, let's see how do you fare here. The answer, guys, first country, and that too, if it is India, you know how important that would be, right? The correct answer, yes, is India. B is the correct answer. First DNA vaccine against COVID 19 given by India. So do remember this first becomes very important for us, right? Let's go. In February, now this we have discussed who got selected as torch bearer. Let's see how many of you are aware. The answer is Keith Fabau. Keith Fabau is the correct answer. Pretty sure you remember now, right? What happened? If we have done a question before, uh, what happens is, again, it remains in our memory, right? What have we done right now? We've done a simple revision. This is what is expected from you as well, right? Just don't uh, attend the session and forget about it. Make sure you are revising it. Whatever you study today, Right, for you do a simple revision, which is study again today, tomorrow, and one week later. Do this and you're good to go. Right? Jo bhi aaj padha hai, aaj padhi hai raat mein, kal padhi hai usko ek bar aur, aur wapis se ek hafte baad. It will hardly take you a couple of minutes to, you know, revise everything that you have written. Right? So, uh, make sure you take out this these couple of minutes there right wherever and wherever you can right even if you're taking a stroll you're sitting somewhere uh, you are watching uh, you know some video there's a break in between just a quick revision and you're good to go all right uh, who has been named the recipient of the icc spirit of the cricket award now this has been in news recently because of the deepthi sharma mark mankanding incident right we all know what happened. Spirit of the cricket was actually questioned. Uh, she ran out an English uh, batswoman uh, while playing cricket, uh, which actually was the last wicket. And Deepi Sharma was, uh, you know, she made India win the match, which was, uh, you know, in a very crucial juncture. So Deepi Sharma was criticized. Why did she ran out the batsman in the non strikers end while? Uh, bowling, right? So, this is a lot of issues. So, this is why the spirit of the cricket jo hai issue is a lot of news. Mein raha hai. So, the answer is uh, Daryl Mitchell. He has been named as the ICC Spirit of the Cricket Award winner. Who has won the 2022 Australian Open Women Singles title? This is the person who retired at the age of 24 and also is an Australian citizen. Retired at the age of 24. Just imagine, guys, when the when sports athletes actually peak, right? That is the time she took retirement, citing burnout. Ashley Barty. B is the correct answer, guys, for this one. All right, guys. The last question that I have for you guys today: Which IPL franchise became the first ever sports unicorn? You all know what unicorns are, where the valuation is one billion US dollar plus. So, what is the answer? The answer, Chennai Super Kings, Rajasthan Royals, Sunrisers, Hyderabad, Mumbai Indians. The answer, quite easy. 
Chennai Super Kings. A is the right answer. The first IPL franchise who became a, a unicorn, a sports unicorn. Do remember from India, the first ever, right? Very important for us. So many things we have discussed today. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, quickly hit the subscribe button. Or if you like the video, it's wrong. Hit the like button, right? With this, guys, a great opportunity comes your way. Must watch from 1st October onwards here on the Baidu's Exam Prep YouTube channel. What are the things that you should be watching? Look at this. I am Bangalore previous year question paper series from 2007 to you can see 2007, 2016. Here, previous year question papers with solution will be discussed. Detailed PYQP analysis will be available at, uh, you know, at your, uh, you know, comfort, right? Previous year trends, you will be able to assess difficulty level, which is set by I am Bangalore. You'll get an idea so starting from 1st October. This is the series, which is the CAT Serial 99 percent Tyler series. This is exclusively on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed, guys, किसके इंतजार हैं? जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए. कितना सब कुछ आ रहा है आपके लिए? देखिए आप. इसके अलावा CAT 2023 comprehensive program we have launched for you with 300 plus engaging videos. Uh, you will get on. Uh, your tablet, right? Cat tablet, you'll get these things. Live classroom sessions, 135 plus live sessions uh, by na serious 99% Tylers. 70 plus mock tests, you'll get an access to. You'll get lots of thousands of questions in the form of practice tests. Recorded lectures will be there. And, uh, you know, GDPI plus VAT sessions, study notes, cat question papers, all of this will be available uh, to you. So don't miss out on this wonderful opportunity that is there. Also, guys, the already open mock test is being conducted from 30th September to 9th of October do not miss the same and if you have already uh, you know subscribed to our uh, you know mock test series well done in case you haven't make sure you do subscribe immediately because 70 plus mock tests are being given to you for all your examinations where uh, you are for which you are preparing right all the mba entrance exams uh, again thousands of practice questions you all know uh, that whatever is required to ace the exam you will get everything uh, that there is all right guys all india open mock test we have shared the dates 30th september to 9th of october make sure you do not wait till the last minute you attempt it right away guys make sure you follow us on all our social media handles the details are given in the description of the video the links are shared here as well also, guys, uh, uh, you know, if you like the session, make sure you uh, hit the like button and also comment and let us know about the same. Thank you so much, guys. This was a real, real fun interacting with all of you. I'll be interacting with all of you real, real soon again. Till then, you guys take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Good night. Sayonara.